Hi, I'm Jeff Rich from the Burning Archive. I've just finished writing my latest Substack piece, which you might be able to see just on the screen there, called Looking Into the Abyss of War. And it's kind of about Victory Day commemoration that occurs in Russia every year on May the 9th. We've just had one. It's a very significant Victory Day. Next year will be the 80th Victory Day but it's an occasion to reflect upon how we all remember war, how we think about the legacy of war, both its horrors and its heroism and its impact on our lives. And I, I, there is a particular way of recognizing that in Russia, I think, that has clearly been shaped by their experience. Victory Day in Russia celebrates uh, the victory over, over Germany in 1945, marks the day that the Soviet Union's army liberated Berlin and finally defeated. Uh, it commemorates the enormous sacrifice and loss of the peoples of the many nations of the Soviet Union over 27 million people died during uh, the years of 1941 to 1945. Second World War, known really in Russia as uh, the Great Fatherland War, the Great Patriotic War. Yet in the West, the the uh, so many of our sort of Hollywood myths, I guess, of the Second World War, focus on the Western Front, focus on, you know, Winston Churchill's speeches and the Normandy in, uh, invasion and uh, all that sort of thing. And it doesn't really quite register the scale of the losses of the Soviet Union and indeed of China. I mean, 10 million people died in China over 27 million people in the Soviet Union compared to losses of approximately 400,000 in both Britain and the United States in those in that war. So it is a very important day in Russia, but often, uh, especially given the current conflict between, you know, the West and Russia, over the war, there is a tendency to portray Victory Day as just an annual military parade, as a display of nationalism and, um, you know, government propaganda about the war, about weaponizing memory and history. And I don't think that is really true. And I sort of explain why in my Substack article, which you can read for free by going to Jeff Rich, J E W F R I C H dot Substack dot com, and you can sign up there for my free weekly essay on world history uh, and current events, current affairs, culture, and literature. And I do try to connect all those things, like current events and interpretations of history, not just kind of popular history or alternative history, but, you know, quality world history. Uh, and I discuss some of the best books on, you know, World War II, uh, such as this book, uh, Blood and Ruins by Richard Overy, The Great Imperial War, in that recent piece, including the great historian John Keegan, uh, and the different, I guess, uh, cultural experiences of war and the tragedy of its losses. And uh, I even go into uh, a, a connection between uh, how a Victory Day event, in my view at least, blends this, the awareness of the horrors of war and the heroism of war, of the suffering of war, the grief about war and the fear about future war, how it actually blends it together in a way that enables us all through its cultural expression to look into the abyss of war and try to see what it's suffering. And I actually connect that in the essay to the great epic poem written sometime between like 650 and 1000, uh, uh, you know, like over, over a thousand years ago 
Beowulf, uh, you know, Beowulf, which Lord of the Rings to some degree <laughs> emerges from, but is often seen as a, star, a tale of heroism, but has a great, great passage that talks about the grief, uh, the grief of war. So I hope you would like to check that out. I think it's a, a really interesting discussion about war, how we think about war, what Russia's Victory Day really means, as opposed to a lot of the, I guess, Western media's uh, slant on uh, what people are really saying about war in uh, Russia. And um, uh, I think it will be a, a really good read. So go to jeffrich.substack.com and you can read it and I'll uh, for free. And if you like, you can also support me by giving this video a like and a share and subscribing to the Burning Archive YouTube channel. See you soon.